shortly after the Electronic Entertainment Expo, E3, trade show in Los Angeles earlier this month. The big three console manufacturers sent a joint letter to United States Trade Representative Joseph Barloon. The letter requests the exclusion of video game consoles from upcoming tariffs on China. In asking for that exception, Nintendo, Microsoft, and Sony provide a detailed argument that boils down to tariffs are foolish. The U.S. imported more than 96% of all consoles from China last year. The Trump administration is planning to raise its import tax on virtually every Chinese product to 25%. That means when Nintendo, Microsoft, and Sony bring a console from China into the United States, they have to write a check to the U.S. government for 25% of the cost of every unit. To be clear, China and its businesses do not pay the tariffs. They only pay if they are also the company importing to the states. In the end, American consumers pay through price increases. This is an especially sensitive issue for Microsoft and Sony, because they are planning on releasing new hardware soon. While we appreciate the administration's efforts to protect you, as intellectual property and preserve you, as high-tech leadership, the disproportionate harm caused by these tariffs to you, as consumers and businesses will undermine, not advance, these goals, reads the letter. Accordingly, we respectfully request that the administration remove from the final list of tariffs, and thus refrain from applying tariffs on these products. The big three go on to argue that these tariffs will harm consumers, developers, retailers, and the manufacturers themselves. To offset the costs of the tariffs, Nintendo, Microsoft, and Sony say they may have to stop hiring or even cut jobs. And an import tax may also stifle innovation as companies look to save money. Nintendo, Microsoft, and Sony to Trump, tariffs stink publicly. The official talking point out of the Trump administration is that we need tariffs on China to force the country to crack down on counterfeiting, piracy, and state-sponsored corporate espionage. China is absolutely a bad actor when it comes to such issues. To release a product in China as a foreign company, you have to share the detailed plans for how products work. Many companies believe that China then hands those plans to domestic companies to help them steal intellectual property. For gaming companies, China is also a nightmare. It is nearly impossible to get approval for sale in the country without working with a giant publishing partner like Tencent.